It seems that the Western ruling elites or the globalists and their military infrastructure called NATO and their deep state intelligence apparatus pushing for a nuclear war with Russia. Naturally, question comes how they can accomplish this. Are they planning for a false flag tactical nuclear attack on Ukraine itself? Do they want to blame it on Russia? Portray Vladimir Putin as an evil, Russian Federation as a rogue state? And then do they want to set a narrative in order to push through their ultimate agenda of striking Russian forces in Ukraine with tactical nuclear weapons? Is it their plan? More than six months back, on 28th of March 2022, I published an episode in this very channel titled Is USA and NATO Planning a False Flag Chemical Attack in Ukraine? In that video, I suspected the probable usage of chemical, biological or tactical nuke in a false flag operation. That episode is even more relevant today. So I am playing relevant sections from that episode. Following that, I will bring some more perspective into this episode. Kindly watch. During this ongoing Russia versus Ukraine conflict, NATO heads of state and the governments of member nations met in a summit on 24th March 2022, that is just a few days back. This summit was held at NATO's headquarter at Brussels, Belgium. This was dubbed as Extraordinary Summit of NATO Heads of State and Government. Following his NATO G7 and EU Council meeting, that is European Union Council meeting, US President Joe Biden held a press conference. In this press conference, Joe Biden made his brief remarks on the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict and then went ahead to accept questions from the press and media. Kindly take a look. And I'll be now happy to take your questions. Since there's so many people out there, I'm going to be given a list. Now, how about Chris of the Associated Press? First question. Hi, thank you, Mr. President. So you've warned about the real threat of chemical weapons being used. Have you gathered specific intelligence that suggests that President Putin is deploying these weapons, moving them to position, or considering their use? And would the U.S. or NATO respond with military action if he did use chemical weapons? You know, on the first question, I can't answer that. I'm not going to give you intelligence data, number one. Number two, we would respond. We would respond if he uses it. The nature of the response would depend on the nature of the use. First question Joe Biden took was from Mr. Chris from Associated Press. And the whole setup looked rather contrived, and it seemed as if this question was being planted in the press conference with an aim to create a narrative. Question was regarding the supposed deployment of chemical weapons by the Russian forces to be used against Ukraine. Joe Biden made it clear that the United States of America and NATO would respond if such a thing occurred. Joe Biden also added that the quantum of response would depend upon the quantum of the usage of such weapons and the magnitude of damage it might cause. It seems as if a narrative is being built around the probable usage of chemical weapons by Russia. Naturally, question comes, how does the United States of America and the Western Empire set up a narrative and why do they do that? Answer is, Judeo-Christian Anglo-American Western Empire uses a nefarious political science principle or a political science tool called Hegelian dialectic. Using this political science tool, hegemons extend and perpetuate their own field of class interest. So how does it work? Hegelian dialectic comprises of three distinctive stages or phases, thesis also called as action, antithesis also called as reaction, and synthesis also called as solution. The whole cycle of events start off with the thesis stage which is the orchestration or enactment of an event. That is, an event would be orchestrated. And this orchestration of event is known as false flag operation, also called a psychological operation or a psyop. As a result of this action, there would be reaction and repercussion. Mainstream media and social media would add fuel to the fire and they would create a propaganda. That is, an information warfare or propaganda warfare would be launched against the victim. This would create a wrong perception about the victim. So, this is all part of psychological warfare and perception management. And once the perception is built, 
hegemon would then come up with its solution that suits its purpose. That is what is referred to as synthesis. Therefore, Hegelian dialectic is a political tool using which hegemon first sets a narrative and then imposes its own solution and accomplishes its agenda. And this is the modus operandi of the ruling elites who are at the heart of Judeo-Christian Anglo-American Western Empire. Viewers might raise a difficult and uneasy question whether United States of America, NATO and the Western powers are planning to stage or orchestrate a false flag operation by using chemical weapons or for that matter tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine and then blame it on the Russians and Vladimir Putin. Why? Naturally the question comes. In order to start a well-rehearsed and well-calculated limited nuclear war, which would give the ruling elites the perfect opportunity to collapse the American economy, complete de-dollarization, and then move to a digital economy and bring in central bank digital currency or CBDC, and eventually bring in a new world order. Is that the plan of the ruling elites? Enlightened viewers might raise these questions. And in the whole scheme of the things, is Volodymyr Zelensky using the Ukrainians as the sacrificial lambs? Recently, United States of America has activated a system called Tecamo. Tecamo is a military system of United States of America that provides communication links designed to survive nuclear war and to maintain communication links between the decision makers and the triad of strategic nuclear delivery systems. Thus, this system is intended for use only in a nuclear war to maintain communication between the command centers, that is the decision-making bodies, and those responsible for delivering the strategic and tactical nuclear strikes. This is done in the anticipation of a nuclear war or during nuclear war drills. This needs to be kept in the perspective while discussing the contrived question and statement by Biden, Joe Biden, on supposed usage of chemical weapons by Russia in Ukraine. We cannot forget that United States of America and West invaded Iraq during Bush-Blair regime under the false pretext that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, that is WMDs. But nothing was found. However, Iraq was ruined in that process and millions lost their lives. A perpetual war on terror was waged by United States of America, Britain and NATO and in the name of waging a war on terror, resource-rich Islamic nations from Second and Third World were invaded. All these countries such as Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria today stand amid ruins there in a state of quagmire. And this narrative of war on terror was created through a false flag operation that is the destruction of World Trade Center, which was supposedly destroyed using directed energy weapon. So, what is the plan? A false flag operation by United States of America and NATO in Ukraine through the use of chemical, biological or tactical weapons, blame it on the Russians and then execute a limited or tactical nuclear strike on Russia, inside protests and people unrest in Russia and remove Vladimir Putin from power. Is that the plan? U.S. generals have already rehearsed a limited nuclear war with Russia. United States of America expects Russia to keep the nuclear retaliation within a tactical limit. And all this is aimed to erase or reset 27 trillion U.S. dollar worth of American national debts and hence de-dollarization and transformation to a new economic system. And West's only roadblock in this entire scheme of things is Vladimir Putin's Russia. Vladimir Putin may not keep the nuclear retaliation within a tactical limit. And is that the reason why United States of America activated Tecamo fearing a massive Russian nuclear, nuclear retaliatory strike? Question comes. Time when things are shifting, we're gonna, there's going to be a new world order out there. There are a lot of people who seem to be surprised to hear this from the U.S. President Joe Biden. But in reality, this is there for a long time. Let's now listen from George Bush Sr. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order, can emerge. More recent development is that Russia suspects a dirty bomb or a low ill tactical nuke might be detonated by the Western deep state intelligence apparatus operating within Ukraine. This dirty bomb 
might be aimed at the Ukrainian troop concentration in eastern part of Ukraine, then blame it on Russia, and then NATO resorts to limited tactical nuclear strike against Russian troop concentration in eastern Ukraine. There is also a probability of targeting Russian troop concentrations in eastern Ukraine with a dirty bomb, if not a tactical nuke. This would be done in order to humiliate Russia and provoke Russia. Well, Russian retaliation is going to be massive. It won't be limited within tactical realm. Russia would use its strategic nuclear assets and Russia is going to target NATO. It is Russia who is going to control the nuclear escalation ladder. Russia will control the nuclear escalation ladder and Russia is going to escalate. Russia's massive retaliation won't be conf confined within Ukraine only. It is this reason why Russia has mobilized its strategic nuclear triad. Внимание, расчет, подготовьтесь к совместным действиям. Есть, подготовьтесь к совместным действиям. Внимание, пуск. Есть пуск. 